How are you, ladies and gentlemen, cars? Welcome back to American Heritage Guitars, here fellow pickers and music and guitar lovers. Speaking of guitars, you can see stuff here. So, as you remember, the original Van Dyke box from the 1930s, nicknamed Dirty 30s, what I've been playing. And then, this is a new arrival. So, an SG Seagar box guitar. So, this is another one created by Jesse Thomas of Hummingbird Guitars. Um, and so, hardtail, tuners, all of that is by MGB. Um, and then, so is the pickup in this little guy here, here. I don't remember the name of him, top of my head. Uh, but this one is now going to be called Tush. You know, SG. I should give you the reason why it's called Tush. Uh, but the headstock, on the other hand, you kind of have that, um, uh, you know, BC Rich. Um, if you remember the days of, like, uh, you know, Dimebag, when uh, Washburn and Dean Aris, he had headstock that was also similar to this. So it's it's kind of got that whole vibe. So you got, like, a, you know, a rockin' looking one. And here I am trying to play country and, country and blues. But, hey, that's okay. So it's a nice look. It's probably, like I said, maybe a pound, pound and a half. It's very, 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 very light. It looks heavy, but it's actually not. So it's a nice little... But this one will be called Tush. And then we have the original Sip and Lightning 2.0, made by my buddy Alex Lechner of Alex Guitars. Um, Y'all remember this from a year ago. We finally got a bass tuner on there. G-string. And then there's your D string. So then there's that Pennsylvania coal. As you remember, Alex Guitars. And 66 from a racing number. And then my cat that passed away, Benny. He's up on the wall over there. I'm trying to show you guys not to forget. But, um, but yeah, this is just a funky, funky guitar. I had to do some minor alter modifications. But it's there. So that's more of a slide one, and then, uh, so we've got our fender cables. So, jacks, or, I mean the quarter. Nice little fender. These are ten footers. And then I don't have any, I don't have any more pedals. Um, I want to do a lot of pedals, but this is the Joyo Vintage Phaser. It sounds late 60s, 70s. You have that uh, Wayland tone, you've got that, uh, you know, Haggard, you've got that David Allen Coe tone. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty similar um, as the MXR. Um, Wayland used another one besides MXR, I just can't remember off the top of my head, I'm not a nerd like that. Um, but, you know, this is very, very affordable, uh, and it sounds decent. Um, but my buddy Dave from Palmetto Pedals down in Florida, um, his that he made sounds awesome. He's doing some minor tweaks, so hopefully here before the, the year's out or something, we'll have one of his and test his. Uh, but all I need is four more pedals. So a phaser, I want a tape delay or a tape echo pedal, um, and then a light distortion pedal that sounds like a, an old Fender, you know, uh, Champ, Tweed Amp. Um, and then, uh, an auto wah, crybaby wahs are too expensive right now. Um, I kicked myself in the ass, I should have never sold that stuff years ago, but we got into that before, you know, life and all that crap. And then just my piece of shit Hollinger amp. Uh, but I figured I would, well, let's start, let's start with the old, uh, dirties, thirties for you. So you can see what a major difference in tone so roll the volume on. Well, not on, on. Hopefully it'll pick up better. I've got my boom mic. It's set up right in front of the amp. So hopefully it'll pick it up better for you guys. Better scoot over a little bit. So my nylon. So clean tone. Roll this on. I love this thing because the pickup, you know, it's a single coil, just like a strat.
very deep. Throw the phaser on. And then if you remember an E or an F unit train, this sounds just like it's just like it's horn on the tracks. And here, let me throw the phaser off. Sounds just like it. That's part of the that's part of Chasing Ghosts the Railroad song. So you've got the whole you've got the whole you'll come in. But I'm probably gonna use this guitar for that. You'll hear the difference. So you got, it's supposed to be like a train whistle, and then you'll have the, uh, you'll have the, you'll have the gallop, you'll have the, and then you'll have the train bells, this is where this kicks in, that I did before the, And then you'll have the oscillation. Let me turn the phaser back on. So you'll have that da 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 So when you listen to the, when you listen to them on the tracks, you have that ping, ding, ding, ding. So it sounds like it's going from your right ear to your left ear and back and forth and back and forth. So you'll have that. And then you'll have the. And then you'll have the the whole the whole E or F unit, the bom bom bom, like it's going down the track and the whistle's going. Probably have to do that part without the phaser on. To get it much deeper. And then you'll have the bop bop bop. So watch this. This is weird. You ready? The phaser's on. I'm going to unplug it. We'll start picking up radio frequencies. This is weird. You ready? It's so weird. I have no radio on. Nothing. It's, it, it's weird. I don't know. Okay. So then we'll plug in the SG. We'll plug in Tush. So, roll the volume up on. So, clean tone. This one's very quiet. There we go. It's very, very quiet. I don't know why. So we'll throw the phaser on. It's gonna roll up the volume a little more. Thank you. 
listen to my little guitar. It's just this little pickup guy right here. It's just not that loud. Oh, pick up radio frequencies again. See, it has a whole different vibe than Dirty 30s. This little guy it's interesting it's unique so I would highly recommend getting this joyo or see my buddy Dave Paul metal pedals he's on Facebook he's on Instagram he's actually here on YouTube so check him out all right so we'll get this guy fired up my phone's like was at 15% so I'm trying to finish this video without my phone dying so we'll roll this guy on. What I like about this guy is, oh, I turned the volume down. Okay. So volume's all the way on. Like when I have my ring on. And that's that piezo, or as Dale Puckett likes to call it, piezo. Just every little bump. I like this little guy. I grabbed the wrong, wrong slide, but I figured it. I grabbed the metal one and I got a, it's just a little bent piece of pipe. But. Yeah, it's very scratchy. And you try to do it with your finger. This, it's called a thumper. So. Can't really play slap bass with this. <laughs> I'm more of a slap bass kind of guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just this one in a nutshell. It just takes you back to the, the glory days, you know, of people just making up junk, but the junk actually looks like junk, actually sounds pretty damn good. So there we go in a nutshell, guys. We'll get, we'll get old Dirty 30s back out. That's just my thoughts, that's what I'm thinking here. Clean tone. Slap that phaser on. So there you go in a nutshell, guys. Let me get this all turned off here. So, with that said, I need a drink. Ah, some more Mountain Dew. <laughs> so, Chasing Ghost is almost done. Uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks or something, like I said, if you guys remember my last video, we took you on a walk. One of my favorite spots where I like to relax and think and get ideas is go out and holler there as far as I can out in the tracks and just, you know, 
Uh, but Chasing Ghosts is almost done. Just a few minor tweaks. I want some, you know, real stuff talking about the trans or not transcontinental railroad um talking about the illinois central railroad we are going to do one about the transcontinental railroad but that's going to wait till we like move back west because i want to do a music video um and then whiskey and me is done so whiskey and me was about when i pretty much chose booze and alcohol to run my life and run my decisions and run my pain so that's what Whiskey and Me is about. It's not really dark, but, you know, it talks about the dark times. It talks about, you know, putting a needle in my arm for the last time and dying and being brought back to life. So, and then Hell of a Ride, um, you know, is pretty much uh, about that. It's going to be talking about my life, but at the same time, it's going to kind of be given that vibe of, you know, talking about some of the greatest outlaws and, and maybe... They thought the same way. Maybe they did the same thing. So it's going to kind of have that same same vibe. Uh, some of the songs, you know, I want them to have that country twang. And that's where the vintage phase comes in. And then I want a distortion pedal that sounds like, uh, you know, like an old champ amp, tweet amp. Um, and then I need a wah pedal. And then uh, I need the tape echo pedal. And I think we slam all those together. The vintage phaser, especially with the tape echo, I think is going to be perfect. Um, you know, and pile those pedals on. I think I'm going to get the sound that I'm after um, with these songs. You know, some of them I want to have, you know, that Waylon, um, Merle Haggard, David Allen Coe. And then the other songs, you know, I want it to have like that. Um, you know, 60s, 70s, um, you know, feel, you know, especially like a Zeppelin type of feel. You know, Zeppelin fused, uh, you know, blues and rock together. So that's kind of what the sound I'm looking for. And of course, you're not going to 100% get it with a three string, you know, guitar versus a six string. Um, but... I'm going to give it a shot anyways and see if we can't pull it off. Because um, I'm damn well going to try. But I mean, cigar box guitars are fun. You make a neck. I mean, I didn't build this one. But Jesse, Jesse did of Hummingbird Guitars, but you make a neck. If you want to pick up, put a pickup in, put a piezo in. But it's taking a cigar box and making a guitar. You know, or in this case... Uh, Alex calls his, um, he says steampunk. This one to me is not really steampunk. This one to me is like uh, Appalachian. An Appalachian chugger is what this one reminds me of because you got the coal up here. Uh, let me put Alex guitars back here. Um, this is Old Sip and Lightning 2.0 to me, but to Alex, this is called the Rare Red Frying Pan to him. But to me, it's Sip and Lightning 2.0. So, you know, it's about using your imagination. Get out and build a cigar box guitar. Well, I mean, this one isn't a cigar box, but it's a three-string. It's got the... Here. Get out and build yourself a cigar box guitar. <laughs> so, a big thank you to Alex. Um, Alex Letcher of Alex Guitars. Uh, he doesn't have an Instagram. He's only on Facebook. Um, but he built some crazy, crazy stuff. Man, I mean, he builds it out of out of anything. Most people would call his junk, but it's just different. It's unique. Um, like I said, he's built me a diddly bow uh, D bass. So kind of like this with the bass string, but one. So that's going to be interesting. Because I miss playing bass guitar. Now I want a bass guitar again. I miss playing My Name is Mud. Yeah, so... But yeah, just get out there and, you know, write music. You know, if you sing, you sing. If you write, you write. If you play, you play. But, you know, get out there. It doesn't matter what it is. Guitar, bass, drums. I mean, whatever you're into, I guess. I don't know what all these new age kids are into, but... Um, just get out there and have some fun, man. Enjoy yourself. 
you know, music is about love, about passion. And, you know, trying to give people peace, love, joy, hope, and happiness. And, you know, something to, you know, bebop around to and, you know, rock and robin and, you know, a good jive, you know. So, that's what it's about. And it's about you first. More than an audience, it's always about you. How does it make you feel in here? How does it make you feel singing about it or talking about it? I don't have a singing voice anymore. I've ruined that by smoking cigarettes too long. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Music just, it's, music is a whole different level. I mean, obviously, because I love it. 50 style mic and my old Gibsons I used to own. <laughs> And my drum notes. Uh, but growing up playing drums, uh, playing guitar, playing bass, um, the only instrument I never played was violin. And I've always wanted to play violin. And if you don't know why I'd like to play violin, and you don't know what, who I'm talking about violin, look them up. Um, Devil went down to Georgia. How about that? <laughs> look them up. Uh, but that's about the only thing I, I never played. I was always interested in music, and I always wanted to get my hands on everything and 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 learn everything. And bass kind of opened up my eyes because I got beats a lot better, and I was able to kind of transition that into guitars a lot better, too. Um, and my chicken picking is a lot better, because when you're chicken picking, you're using your fingers... And it's just like when you, if you play a bass and you play with your fingers on a bass, you know, slap in the bass. So, you know, it actually helps you become a better guitar player. Um, it helps you be a better drummer, too. I mean, I can't drum anymore because of my knees and my ankles and my wrists. I'm breaking them too many times, but um, it's just about the magic, you know. It's about making magic happen. But anyways, guys, I will get off here. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. This is Saturday while I'm filming this. So hopefully this can be up tomorrow, Sunday, or uh, Monday range. Try not to make it too long. We're 22 minutes. I'm sorry that's just me and my videos. I have so much going around in my brain. Um, but yes, here soon we will be kicking off... My phone was freaking out there. Um, we will be kicking off the Chasing Ghosts. And we'll starting with sitting down with my grandma. Let her see that 50s Fender Parlor... That her and my grandfather gave me. So, but I love you guys so much. Sorry, I see my phone say 5%. I thought it said 1%. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Just have a good one, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Like I said, just get out there. Make a cigar box guitar. Play a guitar. Play a bass. Just enjoy yourselves, guys. I love you all so much. Um, just stay safe. And it's about the love of music. Bringing people together. Or at least I, that's what I hope for is bringing people together and uh, through the joy of music. But I love you guys. Thank you all so much for love and support. Also, please head over to uh, my Instagram page, American Heritage Guitar 79. Uh, head over to my Facebook page. Um, my birth, Like I said, my birthday's coming up here in the end of March. So I'm trying to find um, a ceramic slide. So if any of you fellow people out there, you make slides you make you make pickups um you're into cigar box guitars or something get a hold of me on instagram american heritage guitar 79 um if you want to send me something i'll talk about you i'll showcase your work um yeah because anything pedals you name it just get a hold of me american heritage guitar 79 and i'll give you my phone number and my email and we can talk back and forth um, I'd love to work with other people and showcase your amazing talents, um, along with guitars, too. So that'd be an awesome birthday gift from some of you fellow people out there. Like I said, my birthday's the end of March, March 27th, so might do something for my birthday, I don't know. But anyways, let me get off here. <laughs> and like I said, just enjoy yourself. Go, 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 Make a cigar box guitar or a six stringer or a bass. A two-string bass. Whatever. Go enjoy yourself. Go make something. Love you guys so much. 
Thank you guys so much for the support. Stay safe. Enjoy yourself, guys. I'm eight.